Hi, I'm Christy Evers, and I am on the hunt for the cutest North Carolina town with the biggest Christmas spirit. This year isn't easy because it's 2020, the year of the pandemic, and so many Christmas festivities are canceled. I've searched for places that have still kept the Christmas spirit alive, safely and responsibly. So I'm not letting COVID ruin my Christmas spirit. I heard about Dillsboro, North Carolina and their Lights and Luminaries night, and I had to go check it out for myself um, because there's a lot of things that are canceled. But Dillsboro has thought outside the box to keep the magic alive like getting a picture taken with Santa. They keep a socially distant Santa roped off with a festive Rudolph Red rope. Santa wears a face shield, while Mrs. Claus wears a mask. Then children stand on the opposite side of the social distancing ribbon while their picture's taken, and they can still tell Santa what they want or ask him some questions. Then, the Clauses will send a candy cane down a socially distanced tube, yeah, I know, everything's a little weird this year, but at least they made efforts to still make things fun for the kids. Everything is definitely different and wacky this year. But we can still see the lights and enjoy the beautiful and elaborate decorations around town. From what I can see, it looks like the whole city gets into it. I mean, seriously, look at this barber shop. Holy mother of candy canes, it's freaking adorable. And all the way to the town church. Even the back walkways are festively lit. It's their lights and illuminaries night. Uh, it looks pretty amazing so far. Let's go check it out. What is Dillsboro's lights and luminaries nights? Let's talk about that. This event takes place the first two weekends in December every year, where Christmas elves transform this small artisan mountain town into a winter wonderland that would make cold miser jealous, even though it's actually kind of warm. With over 2,500 lights and candles that line the shops and streets, the festivities are rooted in a Scandinavian custom to light the way for the Christ child. If you'd like to see this adorable town for yourself, I have some tips and suggestions of things to know before you go. Tip number one is to arrive early to get a good parking spot. Downtown Dillsboro isn't very big. While parking is free, it is limited. The lights and the luminaries festivities start at dusk, which is around 5.30 p.m., so I would suggest arriving earlier than that. The second reason to arrive early is for dining. They have wonderful, authentic farm-to-table mountain restaurants, but once again, space is limited. I had originally planned to have dinner at the Haywood Smokehouse, a barbecue place with great online reviews. But when I started walking around town, I was roped in by a courtyard so warm and inviting, I just had to stop in to see what it was. It turned out to be Boot Steakhouse, a laid-back old western steakhouse boasting high-quality food made from scratch. When I first stopped by to check it out, there was no seating available, but the very friendly hostess put me on a waiting list so that I had some time to mosey around town to look at the shops and the decorations, and when I came back, there was a spot open for me when I returned. I truly felt transported back in time to an Old West saloon as soon as I entered. The food did not disappoint. It tasted fresh and portion sizes were huge and fairly priced. Caprice salads and prime rib are probably two of my most favorite foods, both of which I'm very picky about. And they were both outstanding. And although my taste buds wanted to gobble it all up, my stomach said, whoa there Nelly, pack it up and take it back to the hotel for leftovers. And so I did. Thank you stomach. The next tip is to plan on doing some shopping while you're there, whether it's holiday related or not. For one, part of being a responsible tourist is spending your tourist dollars in a way that boosts the local economy and benefits the local residents. I mean, after all, if you're going to enjoy an area, it's considerate and responsible to give back by purchasing locally made goods. I support responsible tourism no matter what. Now, more than ever, we need to support local businesses in towns like Dillsboro that rely heavily upon tourism as a major part of their economy. Ever since their beginnings in 1886, when this railroad town began bringing in tourists, the city has thrived on tourism. Now, this town's old-fashioned charm and hospitality is home to a growing number of artisans and craftspeople, which makes it the perfect spot to find authentic, handcrafted quality gifts for the people in your life. Or, hey, even treat yourself. I mean, after all, you deserve it. Come with me and browse through the shops for a bit. 
I'll leave the store names and website links in the bio so you know where to go if you find something you like.
then you can also enjoy live music. joining me for a brief tour of Dillsborough's Lights and Illuminaries night. So what do you think? How high does Dillsborough rate for the cutest little Christmas town in North Carolina with the biggest Christmas spirit? I know I'm already making plans to go back next year. And don't forget to subscribe to your favorite channel, which is this one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.